Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and this video is about and was fully, if not counting a few seconds of a B-roll recorded with the new GoPro Hero 10. And by the way, the audio is also from the new Hero 10. GoPro releases the new Hero series camera every year. And this year we got the extension of the last year model of the Hero 9. It's the same form factor, uses the same battery, has the LCD in the front. And comparing to the Hero 9 has a new CPU that can encode the video in much higher resolution because this time it can do 5.3K and also in some of the rare cases can go up to 250 fps no 240 never mind scratch that of course when recording in the 4k the maximum fps drops down to 120 or 100 fps depending when you are really recording but still this is highly impressive for a camera that is about 500 euros or 500 bucks better stabilization better functions and just everything got better with the hero 10. however however the question remains is this camera the hero 10 a good camera for us doing fpv when we put our camera on our drone and do a flippity floppy around the tree because to be honest putting something that expensive on the drone that most probably is worth less than the camera there is something to it but let's begin with the non FPV usage of the Hero 10 and here I have to say that yep yep definitely I am adored I'm delighted what this small camera really offers me because just look how good the picture on the GoPro without absolutely touching anything in the settings can look like. This is recorded with the standard 4K 50 FPS because I'm in Europe, we use 50 Hz, not 60 Hz. So it makes sense. I am really delighted how good it looks like. In my humble opinion, this is the best vlogging beginner camera. Instead of getting yourself a DSLR or the camcorder or anything that costs thousands of dollars, this thing for 500 can actually be without absolutely any problem used to record this kind of video where I talk to you and I show you stuff around. So fantastic outstanding recording 4k with high fps no problem slow-mo stabilization great colors if you really want to even bigger resolution than the 4k absolutely fantastic i love it However, when we talk about the FPV usage of the Hero 10, we are getting some problems. Because just look at the picture over here where I compare the Hero 7 with Hero 8 and the Hero 10. Look what is really the size difference between all those cameras. Smaller drones are getting more popular and putting really putting the Hero 10 on the small drone is something like a challenge. In this category, a smaller cameras like for example new Insta360 might be actually a much better option. Of course, if you have 5 incher, but for the 5 incher it's still kind of biggish, don't you think? With the 7 incher, no problem, the 7 incher will carry the Hero 10 just fine. And then, yes, you can use the improved features of the Hero 10. Improved stabilization, improved colors, improved resolution, improved frame rate. However, even the 7 incher will actually take a penalty from the increased weight of this camera. And on top of that, something that I already mentioned, well, the camera costs 500 bucks. The good FPV drone already equipped with the DJI Air unit and everything that you really need for flying comes for less. Yeah, if you add the goggles, it's not really that comparable, but still, for 200, 300 bucks, you can get an amazing drone. And this thing, costs almost twice as much. You see where I'm going with that? 
If you crash it, you have a problem. Of course, you can buy the GoPro Plus subscription like I'm having and uh, they will replace your camera. Like in this very moment, I'm in the process of replacing my damaged Hero 7 with the Hero 8 because they no longer made the Hero 7 and it's great, great customer service. But this is not for free. You will have to pay, you will have to pay for the for subscription and really doing a flippity floppy bando style flying with the 500 bucks camera that will crack when you really hit it very hard <sighs> I would be scared like the old saying says if you are ready to face the consequences go for it however if you are not ready to face the consequences maybe something smaller and cheaper might really be the good option in the 2021 me for example I'm not really ready to face the consequences my FPV camera still will be the Hero 8 because it's smaller lighter cheaper cheaper and I really will not be that much afraid of losing this thing. But for vlogging, just like that. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!